Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm looking at how to enable WPA3 on your home network. Now at the moment I use the Ubiquiti Unify Access Point, that's the generation one. It's a little bit old now, but if we look in the controller, we can see the WPA modes that we're allowed to select are WPA1 and WPA2, so no option for WPA3. Well done, Ubiquiti. It's only been two years since the standard has been released. So instead, we're going to look at OpenWRT, which you will need running on your router if you haven't got that already. You're going to hop over to your system and software page. Whenever you're doing anything with software, press the update lists, update your package lists first, like so, and let's just carry on with the video as if nothing happened. Now, if you just click the tab on installed, type in WPAD, and we can see WPAD basic is installed. Just click remove and then remove. We're going to just dismiss that. Hop over to the available packages, still with WPAD in the search filter, and we're going to install WPAD Open SSL. So click install and click install. Wait for that command to complete. This of course can all be done in the command line and I will leave that in the description below. There's also a link on the OpenWRT website on how to do this. So now that that's complete, we're just going to go to System, Reboot, make sure you reboot your router, and we'll just wait for that to come back up. has automatically reloaded the login page after it's completed its reboot cycle so you just need to log back in as normal head over to your network and wireless page and you can see that we've got radio 0 for the 2.4 gigahertz and radio 1 for the 5 gigahertz which is currently disabled we've got an SSID over here which is actually already running we're just going to click edit there's all sorts of options you can configure over here, but we want wireless security. And as you can see, we now have the option for WPA2, WPA3 mixed mode, which is recommended as if you just enable WPA3 SEA on its own, you'll probably kick off a load of legacy devices or devices that haven't actually supported WA3 properly yet. So I'm gonna leave it on the mixed mode. You just click save. Make sure the SSID is running there. And that is how to enable WPA3 on your OpenWRT router. So now it was time to try and connect a client to our new SSID that's WPA3 encrypted. First thing I did was get my phone. It's an iPhone SE from 2016. It does run iOS 13.3.1, so it is up to date and it is in support. If we just quickly check apple.com, they say they support WPA3 right here, but I have found that to be incorrect because it didn't work for me. When I tried and connected to the SSID, it gave the error message of wrong password. Trust me, it was the correct password. <laughs> Just believe me. Um, I also went to other, if you can try and add the network manually, and let's try and get that in focus. We've got WPA3 Enterprise but no WPA3 personal option. So I don't think that's been implemented correctly. So it doesn't work at all. So well done, Apple. I then went to my laptop, which is running Ubuntu 20.0.4. And surprise, surprise, it worked immediately first time with no problems. I tried it for about half an hour and everything was fine. So there you have it. It worked on the open source kit but not the proprietary kit from Apple and Ubiquiti. Go figure. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video if you made it this far, and I will see you in the next one.